नमस्कार क्लास इज गिवन टू माई हेल्प सो टूडे वी विल डिस्कस अबाउट द रेस्ट जूडी डाटा एंड रेस्ट ट्यूशन एंड क्यूरियस अंडर द सी क्यू के section 11 of cqc embodies the rules of res judicata or rule of conclusiveness of the judgment as two points decided either of facts or of law or of facts and law in every subsequent suits between the same party it annex that once a matter is filed decided by a competent court no party can be no party can be permitted to reopen it in the subsequent litigation The doctrine of res judicata has been explained by Das Gupta in the case of Satyaman G. Hassan v. Dio. The principle of res judicata is based on the need of giving a finality to the judicial decision. What it says is that once a res judicata, res is judicata, it shall not be adjudged again. Primarily, it applies between past litigation and future litigation. whether on a question of facts of law has been decided between two party in one suit or proceeding and the decision is final either because no appeal was taken to a higher court or because appeal was dismissed no appeal lie neither party nor will be allowed a future suit of proceeding between the same party to canvass the matter again restitution the term restitution has not been defined under the cqc but there is a direct mention there is a direct mention of the term in the section 144 of the code has the important definition of the restitution is an act of restoring a thing to its proper owner restitution under the code confer to the act of restoring a benefit that has been obtained by one party under a decree to the other party why should the benefit under the decree be restored this can be answered by reading the text of section 144 of cpc covid okay, incorporated under section 148a of cpc the indian law defined covid petition as a precautionary measure taken by a person who hold a strong fear or uneasiness that some or other is against him or is going to be filed in the court of law regarding any matter cavit is basically a latin word which means let a person be there 